Now, obviously, it's purely down to what you like best, but personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with fitting LED lights to a, a Defender. I, I really don't mind uh, a classic vehicle being modernized to make it a better daily driver. And these LED lights are so much brighter you know, just for practical uses on the road, you're going to be more visible. I mean, we do know that Defender lights are shocking um, at the best of times. They're like candles. And, um, you know, these LEDs are super bright and they do make a difference. So brake lights, you're giving the person behind you a much better chance of braking in an emergency. They're going to see you. They're going to see your brake lights. And even other road users, when you're indicating to you know move around in traffic, there's a much better chance they're going to be able to see you with these LED lights uh, than with a standard light. And hopefully you'll get an idea of that with me showing you them lit up now, just what a difference it can make. Now, as far as retrofitting them into a Defender, it's super easy because... If you've got a 300 TDI or a TD5 onwards, um, you're gonna find you've got these connections on your vehicle already. So this will just be a plug and play uh, piece of kit. Um, they use the same fixings as the standard um, YPAC lens. So can you see here, we've got the two screws on either side and you've got the same aperture here. So these just go straight over the top. They don't go into the vehicle, so they're not collecting moisture because obviously uh, the back of the rear panel, for instance, on a Defender does collect mud um, and moisture and it all, I mean, I've taken these out of Defenders and that has just been a solid lump of mud around that lens uh, or around the back of the lens, as it were. So, you know, that is a real risk. If you've got a, a, an older Defender and you want to modernize it and you are modernizing it and you're thinking, well, maybe I will actually fit some LEDs, you can still do it very easily by buying a wiring loom. So these are available off the shelf. This is just a conversion kit. All you'd have to do is strip out the wires that are on your vehicle already, uh, fit some female bullet connectors so you can push these straight in. But if you've got the time to sort of, uh, you know, strip your old wires back, uh, solder them and put a plastic um, shrink sheath over the top, that's going to be a far better long-term uh, solution than just pulling bullet connectors in because they corrode.